Hi, everybody. Ralph Shaheen here with you at the Speed Sport offices in Mooresville, North Carolina. we got some exciting news for you here today. If you remember the biggest event in 2023, the most exciting announcement, the newest event on the schedule for all race fans and racers was a Risk on 360 open wheel showdown Davey Hamilton Jr. put on out in Las Vegas. And Speed Sport was there to bring you all the television through SpeedSport.tv. Well, we've got exciting news. It's back, and Davey Hamilton Jr. joins us. Davey, when and where are we going racing? Yeah, so we're going to go to Irwindale Speedway. You know, we're going to go back to where a lot of guys remember the pavement turkey night type event. So uh, we're going to Irwindale Speedway November 22nd to the 24th, and we're going to do all three same classes, wing sprint cars, midgets, and super modifieds again. And uh, we're... We're going bigger this year. We're going to bring more money to the table for these competitors to compete for. More money means more cars. So obviously the, the first thing everybody's going to want to know is why aren't we going back to Vegas? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a lot of business uh, side of things to that uh, answer, but um, you know, we'll uh, maybe one day we'll go back to Vegas. There's a lot of things behind the scenes on why we're not going back this year. Uh We'll keep that confidential, but the uh, but I'm great and I'm excited to uh, to go to Irwindale Speedway. I think I think Vegas was a great venue and a great location for sure, and um, it it had some good racing. But I think Irwindale is going to have three, four, five lane racing the whole time. I mean, from what I remember, me and Bobby Santos back in the day in the in a wing sprint car, we were just throwing slide, pavement slide jobs the entire race. So um, to go back there is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, I've called midget races at Irwindale before. It is spectacular. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing weekend of racing. So let me ask you this. There had been talk about potentially bringing even another category of racing to the calendar for the Open Wheel Showdown. Where does that stand? Yeah, it's still in the works. Um, so where I'm at right now is that I haven't personally been out to Irwindale Speedway yet. Um, ever since they uh, they kind of cut back on their pit area um, a couple years ago. So I plan to go out there in the middle of February and kind of get a layout of the land. Um, depending on how much space I have available for my teams, we're going to try to add another class. Realistically, what I'd like to add is a focus midgets. Um, that way we could have, you know, kids growing up and these families that want to get their kids involved in the biggest pavement short track open wheel events uh, can be a part of this. You know, and Irwindale used to do that, used to race on the little, the little track. And that's where I grew up watching begging my dad hey can we go rent a ride with nine racing so i could go run turkey night but it never happened so uh hopefully it, it all works out to where we could bring that class uh to the event and and give the kids that are coming up to the quarter midget stuff to uh to get to this level of racing so fifty thousand dollars to win for the wing pavement sprint cars four tens and three sixties will it be a hundred laps again for them that's the other thing that we're we're still working on. So we're working with uh, our tire manufacturer. And once I go out there and uh, we're going to do some uh, kind of just some testing throughout the year, not at Irwindale, just throughout the year of, of kind of seeing what these cars are capable of in a wing portion as far as we could go. The Vegas track was almost perfect to do a hunter lapper. Um, There's a lot of guys like myself were actually running out of fuel, even to lap 50. So it was like a perfect uh area to do a pit stop where Irwin does a lot bigger. So I, I don't think a hundred laps can be realistic. I think it's going to be more like a, like a 60 lapper with a break at a lap 30, um, something like that. We might be, so, so the format's still in the works. Um, at the end of the day, it's still going to be a long event where you're going to have to do a, a pit stop in the middle of the, of the feature. What can we expect for the midgets and the supers? Yeah. So, so I, I think I said this when we first announced open wheel showdown is that I, uh, I want to grow this thing every year, right? So the sprint car portion, so the purse is going to stay the same for the, the A feature like it was in 2023, 50 grand to win, 2,500 to start. Um, one thing I'm going to do a little bit differently this year, though, is that every entry, so anybody that registers to compete in this event, as long as they show up, uh, they will get paid. So we're going to pay everybody that shows up. Um, the midgets, the right now, they're it's set that they're in a race for 10 grand to win. Um, but as you know, Ralph, you know me by now, I, I go for big things. So I'm actually already working on trying to make the midget feature 25 grand to win, which would make it one of the biggest pavement midget races out there. And, uh, the only biggest race, midget races, period. It could be, it could be. So, um, 
you know, and then there's a lot of there's a lot of midget racing going on on the West Coast that week, the week and a half prior and stuff. So um, to give the these guys that may have a pavement midget car just sitting in their shop, they could bring both their pavement car and their dirt car now and go compete for a lot of money. So um, so we have the the biggest paying uh, wing sprint car class or, you know, event that's ever been done. But we're also trying to make the midget portion just as big and uh, the super modified uh, situation, you know, it's it's really hard, but I'm uh, I'm trying to grow that purse as well, which I will. But unfortunately, the the East Coast guys, uh, they they have a race two weeks prior, so it might hurt our car count a little bit. Um, they do have a better purse for the supers, but um, mine is very heavy on the sprint car portion. So we'll just see what happens. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, right now it's set at five grand for them to win. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to boost all the numbers, but I can only do so much. So we'll see. Well, the good news is you got a proof of concept. The first year's race went fantastic. And you got a few more months now to try to sell more That's stuff right. and, and raise everything up. So the fans are going to know when are tickets on sale and how do I go about getting them? Yeah. So what we're doing is on February 1st, if you go to openwheelshowdown.com, that's how all the teams can register. Our registration process is going to be similar to last year where for the sprint car teams, um, our tire selection is based on how you enter. So whoever enters first, you get your tire selection first at the event. I think last year is Bobby Santos, of course. You know, he's he just sitting on this computer waiting. <laughs> but uh, um, and then we're also going to handle the RV sales this year. Last year it was handled by Vegas itself. Um, we're going to do it ourselves through Open Wheel Showdown. So you could purchase RV um, spots on openwheelshowdown.com starting February 1st. Um, our media, uh, requests, um, form. So you guys could, you know, request to be a photographer of the events. Um, we're going to hire our own push truck team as well this year. So that'll all be available February 1st on opalshowdown.com. Um, as far as tickets go, uh, that will be sold through Irwindale Speedway. Um, but we're not going to start those sales until around July. So we have a couple of months before those even go out. Hey, a lot of exciting news and we're thrilled to be a part of it again with speed sport and, Speed Sport yep. 1 and SpeedSport.tv. Davey, this is awesome. really exciting. I can't wait to get going. So instead of going to the casino, we'll just go to the beach. That's perfect. <laughs> exactly. And what's great is that there's so much racing going on that week. So people can stay and they can go see some dirt racing. And um, it's just a week long of racing, man. That's great. November 22nd yep. to the 24th, Open Wheel Showdown going to Irwindale. We'll be there. We hope to see you there as well.